boxing truth here. Arizona Lara is such a chump, man. What a funny ass article by Boxing Scene. Lara waited until Andre signed an HBO deal, a recently signed deal, a three fight deal, that will begin later this month when he takes on Atlanta Fox. In a co feature on HBO, as Andre is coming back to HBO and moving up in weight to test the waters at 160 pounds. Since there's really no fights for him to be made at 54, since he's boxed out, couldn't get fights with the Charlo brothers. Lara ducked him, blatantly ducked him to fight freaking Terrell Gusha, a cherry pick. One of the many cherry picks lately for Arizona Lara. And Lara waits until the coast is clear, until, you know, when Andre stops barking because. Now Andre is committed to another network, a network that Lara's advisor is not really affiliated with in HBO. So Lara is seeing it's all safe and sound now. Now he starts barking. Now he starts calling out Andre. Damn well knowing that that fight ain't ain't happening anytime soon. Now that Andre is committed to another network, committed to a three fight deal, and is most likely going to stay in the middleweight division, try to get fights against the big names. In that division, Andre took short money, went to went to another country to fight Koke, got a decision, and was waiting and hoping for WBA to enforce that mandatory. And they didn't they didn't do their jobs. They protected Lara, and Lara ducked them. Didn't try to negotiate. Didn't try to fulfill his mandatory. It wasn't ordered upon him, but it should have been ordered. WBA came out with some bullshit, saying that they'll, they'll negotiate later in the year or some shit like that. Lara cherry picks Gasha, and then he's talking about trying to unify with with Jared Hurd most likely. So Lara wasn't trying to fight Andre. He's been avoiding ducking that fight like the plague. Well, it's nothing to do with Andre because Andre will expose him. He will retire him, and Lara will go down as a guy who couldn't win the big fight, couldn't get the biggest paydays out there, called out Golovkin, but fights the the Terry Gashas, the the Delvin Rodriguez, the John Zavix of the world. Everyone's taking tough fights this year. Except the usual suspects, and that's Deontay Wilder. He only signs to take. He only signs tough fights and then pulls out because of some weak ass Vada testing. Lar still cherry picking. Got a gift decision against Matarosian. So the usual suspects not taking the fights fans want them to see. And everybody else is in big fights, trying to make big names for themselves, trying to legitimize, legitimize themselves as true fighters and true champions. And you got fuckboys like Deontay Wilder and Lara in the protection program. To this day. So Lara has got this weak defense against Gasha. Nobody's talking about it. Gasha, he ain't much. I've seen him fight a few times. Nothing impressive about him. He's just an okay fighter. And okay fighters don't impress me, man. I'm tired of watching okay fighters. It takes a lot to impress Boxing Truth. A lot don't impress me either. He's never impressed me. Never been impressed. Lost his biggest fights. Maybe has some bad luck against Paul Williams. Got schooled by Carlos Molina, though. People forget about that. School. Lucky to get away with a draw, though. You ain't shit, Lara. Andre would have ended you, but now you want to bark and talk shit now that he's over HBO. The coast is clear, that's why. It's all safe and sound. But you ain't trying to fight Andre. Andre's most likely going to vacate that belt now. Now that he's with HBO, he... I don't know anything about this Atlantis Fox dude. Never seen him fight. 
I gotta see if he's real or not. Doesn't take me that long to figure it out. Usually it takes about a few rounds of footage, then I can tell if he's legitimate or you know a pretty good fighter or he's food for Android. So I I watch some footage. He's a tall guy, 23 and old, 11 knockouts, 6 four. So maybe it is a real fight. It's HBO after all. They don't they don't feed you mismatches most of the time. Usually, if you're on HBO, you gotta you gotta test yourself. So this could be a test for Andre to have to figure out how good Atlanta Fox is. But he's in good hands. Three fights with HBO. Maybe he could get a fight with Jacobs. Maybe get a fight with David Lemieux. Uh, maybe a Saunders fight. Maybe the Ganel Canel Golovkin winner. It all depends what fights Andre. Is, in, is participating in what fights he wins if he wins a, uh, some hardware I doubt he returns at 54 since the majority of the talent are, are with Heyman on that side so Andre did what he had to do he went with the network that expressed interest that wanted to showcase his fights and he's gotta do something he can't wait for Lara forever he wanted to fight this year Lara didn't want that smoke so what is he, what he supposed to do in the meantime, Lara is gonna get through with this showcase, and hopefully he'll unify against Jared Hurd. I don't mind that fight. Lara thinks he's Hurd is easy work, thinks he get out box him, but I think he's gonna be in for a rude awakening. We'll see if Hurd can get past his assignment against Trout. Some people think Trout is gonna school Jared Hurd, but nah, bro. That dude coming off of what a year and a half layoff. He's going to fight a big puncher, strong, tall, rangy, skilled counter puncher in Jared Hurd. I don't see Trout winning that fight. But that's why you fight the fights. And Lara, hopefully, you go in a real fight sometime soon because all of your fan base is tired of these cherry picks. People have jumped off the bandwagon and knew you. Was, they, they see that you're full of shit. Just nothing but talk and bark. Fake callouts. We ain't no super champion, dog. This is boxing truth. I'm out.